man. I just love this mower setup. This is the last day we got the Bobcats. We got to use it and abuse it. Let's get to it. Almost done. I probably put too many hours on this bobcat already because uh, we've had it a little bit too long. I do have news on some new items coming here to the farmyard. Uh, if you remember a couple episodes ago, we ended up helping a neighbor with an auction. And at that auction, we did purchase uh, some very cheap items so the bat wing i was kind of already interested in because i needed it it's already here let me shut this off here quick yeah it's kind of shaking there you all right huh Ooh, look at this truck now this is huh got some kenworth power there so if you don't know, this grain cart was on the auction in this Kinsey. So I was really not trying to purchase any items at the farm show except the Batwing because I really needed it for all of this waist-high grass around here. But I ended... So I wasn't even really going to bid on a lot of things. I know I had a lot of requests to bid on that. But I get a lot of requests that people get mad at me because I purchase too much stuff. I wasn't wanting to purchase both of these grain carts, but they both went really cheap. The reason why I even bid on this Elmer's is because it was first in line. So when you do an auction, they do from one direction to the other, and they bid, and, no, and this one was such a low price where... I ended up getting that uh, purchase and then the Kinsey was afterwards. The Kinsey went basically for nothing, which I don't didn't know at the time, but a lot of this sheet metal needs welded and all that stuff, so it's going to need a lot of work. So I'm kind of happy I ended up getting the, the Hallmaster, but I, I think I'm going to try to flip it because I think it's too big for our equipment uh, maybe I can get my uh, versatile over there set up so I can use it to pull the Almers but it's it's kind of a big wagon for the equipment I have uh, 83 might get it done it, it could hmm, I bet the the 4440 will get it off the trailer and get it parked that's for sure so I know a lot of people say I buy too much stuff. I'm probably in going to end up flipping this uh, auger wagon for the simple... It's I don't know if it's really practical for our size farm. I think it's better off spending that money. And I know I can make what I purchased it for pretty easily. And that's the only real reason why I purchased it. So, didn't really want to have a good deal uh, slip by, so that is why into every time you put something in front of me for sale, I have an addiction, so my wife knows I have that problem too, so trust me, you're not the only one saying it. I'm going to try something different to pull in that uh, little grain cart just have something in mind. We're going to park the 4440 again. Yeah, I got something. I think something might be able to pull it. What? You don't think you'll get it done? Respect the diesel. This thing. If nothing else, we will do wheelies all the way up into the yard. I mean, why not? You gotta have some fun once in a while, even even on a farm. Not everything is serious. 
every single time you do a task. All right, is it gonna pull it? Whoa, 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 oh yeah. Uh, 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 okay. All right, before I give up, I'm gonna try one more thing. Gotta try something here before I give up. All right, we put 400 pounds of weight in front of this thing. We will most likely break, oh, 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 or do a handstand. I was gonna say break an axle, but apparently we're just gonna do a uh, front flip. Uh, oh, this is, this shouldn't be happening. There's no way this should be pulling the grain cart this easy. Yeah, yep. Gonna nickname this the Mighty John Deere. Little Johnny getting it done over here. It's not so easy backing up though. Oh man, it just wants to flip me all over the place. Yeah, we definitely would have saved time just using the 4440, but like I said, that's not always the funnest thing. Why not? Why not have a little fun on the farm once in a while? Uh, uh. Uh. All right, it is way too big of a uh, machinery to be pulling around with little Johnny here, but it did get it done. Whoop, little handstand again. Man, if I could give Johnny something for a good long hard day's work, I would. Maybe I'll end up changing the oil. I think that's... Well, well, who do we have here? Huh, I think that's our neighbor. Huh. Wow. So, I guess the neighbor got a new 7719. What is this? A Dyna 6. 6 liter? Dynamic 6? I don't know exactly what that would stand for. I probably... It's probably really easy and you guys are laughing at me right now. Looks like you don't see many people cultivating. I did the... Actually cultivated the first time in a while this year. This is obviously a very... This is a newer cultivator, but... I think she's going to be going out there and... Cultivating her high corn forgotten. Man, them things, them rollers, man. I guess they kind of protect the crops. I mean, that's kind of unique. Don't remember having some... We definitely didn't have that on our cultivators. I think we had mostly orthon, orthon cultivators, 12 row. This is a 8 row. Beautiful tractor. I'm going to have to look inside this thing. Yeah. Nice, massy. These sassy massies are always nice. I just wish they had a bigger uh, screen in them. But... Alright, I'll let her get at it again, I guess. I think she's going to take off. So, I believe that is... Uh, who's that? Bob and Sue Ann? They farm right by us. Wow. Talk about speeding through the yard. Slow down there, bud. Girl. They actually own on the other side of our cattle over here. They own that field. Alright, so now that that's done, I want to put uh, basically a great uh, fence over there by my cattle yard. And I'm trying to think what's the best tool. I really want to have my big loader utilize on it. I do have it on the planter. Hmm. Should I should I use that or the 4440? I just think uh I think it'll be better if I use my big loader tractor. So I'll get my uh my 8330 here. I have to take the tanks off. I have to take the planter off. Oh. I have to unhook it. Looks like I got to fire up the old Case IH here. And I'll use that to basically do this. 
All right, so the loader mounts are back on the 8330. Before I get too far along, if you can see the sun is lowering here, starting to get darker, I need to return my bobcat before I end up having to pay a Presley a pretty price for this. So I'm gonna get this back over here to our neighbor dealer. It's really hard to keep in budget when you have your neighbors with a John Deere dealership. Like right down, it's like in walking distance from my farmyard. Yeah, talk about teasing me with some pretty green paint. Just right down the road. All right, just hop the fence here. I think I'll hop the fence, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna get this loader tractor on. So I basically, uh, I, I guess I'll show you what I'm gonna do here while I'm doing it. So, I'm lazy, of course, and I don't like getting in and out of this tractor all the time when I'm going in and out of my fence. So, I decided to put like a, a grate gate over it. I think that's what they're called. It's basically just a hole in the ground and uh, it has like metal tubes on it. I guarantee if I if you would see one you would know what I mean but it's made basically because cattle don't like walking across them so you could have one and not have to hopefully uh, open the gate and close it all the time you see them a lot on uh, ranches so first we got to remove some of this soil get some of the soil out of here because it has to go into the ground or at least close to the level sometimes you see them on top of the ground but for this case we are going to put it in eh, well maybe we should put it on top because it does get muddy right here I'm, I'm changing my mind as we speak Alright, so I got it all down. Looks like, oh uh, man, maybe I should have lowered that. Alright, that's a little bit better. So obviously you got to drive over this, but the kettle don't like walking across this. So this way we can basically leave this gate open at all times. And big old 83 right here can just drive right in. So that is one of the conveniences I want. The next one, I want to put a windmill in my pasture here. Haven't exactly figured out where yet, so I'm going to just get a windmill so it uh, and just put some type of filter on it, simple uh, particle filter. And I'm gonna pump out of that pond there into a water tank but that way the water tank will be uh, at least that way the cattle will be drinking somewhat clean water that doesn't have you know all their feces in it maybe right here I would like to be able to just see it when I'm driving down on the road just low enough so I could just see it right from my Tr truck window you know I'm lazy so you have to uh, just understand that I guess all right I think I got enough of this scraped off I probably should have grabbed my box scraper I uh, moved here with you guys remember that thing I don't probably don't use that thing near enough all right that thing is loud Surprised it isn't turning. I was not expecting that to be that loud, but this should be able to pump water right out. But hopefully that should pump water, so then that way... I've had some cattle get sick, so they have been basically uh, just been using... drinking out of this swamp, I believe, this type of water. I need to prevent them from doing that. So that is why I put up a windmill, hoping that I could just 
either drain this pond or keep uh, filtering the water out. I think that's the last project for the day. Hopefully I can get an early night's rest for once in this week. Man, I've been so busy I haven't been able to hardly get a good night's rest. Alright, busy day, productive day, done. I am going to sleep good tonight. I'll get on my KTM here. Why walk when you got a motorcycle? What the heck is this thing coming down? Oh, oh, oh. Who the heck? Who is this? Why are they going towards my cousin? That thing looked redonkulous. I got to go check this out. Get out of here, buds. Well, apparently, my cousin wants to upgrade to a newer Ford. What the heck is she thinking? Look at them. Man, them are weird looking rear taillights. It's almost like it's a tiny star back there. Kind of weird. Definitely lifted. Definitely got a unique uh, trim and uh, lift package here. I'm not for sure what kind of color that is. Holy cow, look at them headlights. Talk about LEDs. Oh, do they? Oh, no, that's just. Oh, when I move, they go like that. I, I thought they were almost like them uh, construction lights go across. Well, that's kind of cool. Luckily, sh I don't think she's gonna get it. Not sure, but I am glad to see it go. So, you guys probably don't know, uh, Jim and my cousin have actually picked up off-roading. So, they got a few of these. So, these are brand new. I yeah, I think they own these. It's about time for some shut eye. Stop messing around. Let me get out of here. I don't like spending time with my cousin any more than I have to. Of course, we're gonna go see how our corn's doing over here. Right now, it's looking pretty good. What time is it? Oh, is this Bob? What is he doing here? Oh, man, I don't have shoes on. Oh, oh, I'll just walk on the rocks. What the heck? Oh, man, I gotta get some shoes on. Apparently, all of my horses were out. Bob is P.O.'d. Man, is he P.O. Where did my cowboy boots go to? Where did my blank kickers go. Oh, I thought I was right. Oh. Oh, man. I was going to ride with Bob, but he already took off. He is probably P.O.'d at me. Start up this little three-wheeler. Oh, I can't see it. Nothing. All right, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go steal uh, my cousin's new side-by-side -side over here. We ain't going to be using this. Oh yeah, now that is some lights. There we go. We can see now, or we can blind the horses. There we go. We have no time to waste, so I'm gonna head across country right here. Oh man, are, are them horses in his cornfield? Oh no. Uh-oh. You know, come to think about it, I don't think I saw them when I was working in the pasture. I can see these little guys out here. Look at them walking around. 
Hey! Hey! This is... Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, you gotta get back. Come on. Oh, man. Come on. You guys, let's go. Oh. Come on. Let's, let's get out of here. Alright, so... Bob is PO'd. I basically convinced him that we can do this. I'll, I'll pay for all the damages to his corn crop here. Uh, probably, I'll get a Gromness out here to find out how much damage was actually done. And I'll end up paying him, but, uh, yeah, that is not going to be. But anyways, we will get these horses back in tomorrow morning. No use messing with them tonight. I'm going to be worried sick on how much damage these horses are going to do to Bob's field. It's crazy. Man. Oh. Thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I did not see them when I was in the pasture. Were they already out yesterday? Oh. I think I already see Bob. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's every single one of my horses. Yep. Shoot. Alright. Well, I don't know how my horses got out, and every single one, I don't see any cattle out dying horses. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to be mixing that with the cattle. That might be why they wanted to get out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to... I think I'm going to call Jim. I'm going to haul these horses up to Jim's, uh, Jim's yard up there. Alright, so we got both of these set up here. So I got this uh, I put some panels up here, so hopefully I can kind of get them all corralled up in here, and then I can start teasing them with some alfalfa. Move this in. I'll move this bale in just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I'll get another bale out over here. Now take this bale, uh, throw it over the panel right here. Uh, there we go. Hop over this. Pick this bale up. And I will put this over here. And I'm hoping I can get majority of the horses in that way. As you can see, we got a, a lot of damage out there. So I got my cousin. I got Bob. I got Jim over here. We're all going to do a little horse wrangling. These are wild horses. They don't just go easy. Let's just say that. Alright, looks like my cousin Jim is out there on the little three-wheeler. I don't know how I convinced them that I got to drive the side-by-side -side here. We are going to hopefully start teasing these horses in. Oh man, you can see there. there's some damage right there. You see way off there, that's Susan. She hasn't stopped cultivating. Yeah, she's going, oh man. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage in here. Oh, man. Yep. I'm just going to end up getting all these horses back at Jim because this this is nuts. This is crazy. I'm tired of dealing with these horses. Yes, you've been a pain in my arse. Alright, what in the heck is... Jim and my cousin doing. I, they ain't really helping much here. Gotta, gotta push them in. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Got these horses in quick. I gotta shut this gate quick. Close that gate up.
Alright, finally got some horses put away. That took forever. Make sure you like the video.